All right, hello and welcome everybody. Today is Sunday, February 23rd, 2020, and today I have floor system test 47 for you guys. Um, hopefully this video will be nice, short, and sweet. Not too much talking, but a few updates to share with you guys, and I uh, changed some things around. So I'm going to start right here. As you guys can see, my... Um, 4602-9102 um, RCU um, annunciator finally is looking a little better. I have a uh, trim plate for it. I've been waiting to get a trim plate for a long time, or actually I had been looking for one, and I was unable to find one. I would like to thank um, Devonte Mills up in Canada for reaching out to me on YouTube and... Um, selling this to me. He had um, another 9102 unit that was in a very bad shape and uh, had a couple parts taken off of it that he had and um, he still had the trim plate and screws from it so he sold it to me. I think I gave him uh, 30 US dollars or something like that whatever that is in uh, Canadian currency but um, he set me up with the trim plate and screws which I am very thankful for, and uh, this thing looks a whole lot better. I'm glad to finally have it looking right, and um, I didn't know how these um, screws really worked. It looks like they're um, Torx heads or whatever, but they uh, did come with um, nuts. So um, I can just, um, I just had to tighten the nuts on the back, so I thought I would need a back box to hold the screws in or something, but no, it came with, uh, the screws came with nuts, and, um, they do a very nice job of holding the trim plate onto the enunciator, and the trim plate also holds the face plate on, so I was able to remove the tape, and, um, it just looks a whole lot better. Now, while I was at it, since I had to pull the tape off and remove the face plate anyway, I went ahead and re uh, blah, 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 I can't talk. I had to go ahead and, uh, or I went ahead and rewired the enunciator with um, this new Belden fire alarm wire which I was telling you guys about um, a couple weeks ago that I purchased so you guys can see the new wire right here and uh, I did this job yesterday and uh, in my opinion it took me way too long um, very unimpressed and displeased with this wire overall it was a flipping pain in the butt to um, get it all stripped and everything. Um, there are four wires inside these cables, so I had to cut those short. It's shielded, so you guys can see it's just an absolute flipping mess. I hate this stuff. I don't know why I bought it there. You guys can see right there. Um, there's the blue wire. There's also a blue and brown wire in these, so just an absolute mess. This is a job that any, um, the job I did right here is a job that any um, self-respecting fire alarm technician would say is absolute garbage. So um, <laughs> I uh, honestly don't know about changing over the rest of the wiring to this stuff. It's a shame because I have a thousand feet of it right here and I just had a heck of a time um, rewiring the system with it. But in my opinion, it's absolute garbage and it was nothing but a pain in the butt to strip and um, and uh, just to work with in general, it's very um, tight wire. So um, the enunciator, it kind of, it's kind of really, it's loose. If I press on these buttons, it's all loose. So it's not flexible. It's barely flexible, and uh, it just sucks overall. So I don't know if I'm going to use it to rewire the rest of the system or not. I really haven't decided yet. But anyway, there's that. The enunciator is looking a lot better. And um, if anyone knows where I can find another one of these trim plates for my 4603-9101 even though I don't have a system to use it with um, if anyone could provide me with any tips as to where I could get another trim plate for this guy that would be great but I'm not looking for the beige trim plate I'm specifically looking for the 4603-9111 um, um, brushed aluminum trim plate I think it looks a lot better and I would really like to see it on this thing so if anyone knows where I might be able to get one of those it's a very hard piece to find that would be greatly appreciated um, so the pole stations are the same 
I changed out a few of the notification appliances on the 4010. I have my Simplex 4903-9252 um, horn strobe with the uh, system sensor SR, which is the same as before. On the 4005, I have my uh, one of my two Wheelock um, Exceder HSR horn strobes and my 49 Simplex 4904-9168 free run strobe one of my two so um, actually um, I'm trying to think the um, that alarm the 9252 and the SR came out of the um, JP Morgan Chase building that was demolished and then the Exceder and the 9168 those ones came out of two of um, two of my dad's buildings not the same building but a uh, different building so I think that's pretty cool got a Neat little setup here. The 9252 is running on continuous, and so is the Exceder. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time because these alarms are both um, very loud. I'm just going to activate the systems um, one at a time just to um, not create too much noise. So the video is already long enough. Let's go ahead and uh, pull each of these systems, starting with the 4010. So here we go. Three, two, one. That was painfully loud. All right, let me set the camera down. Do the usual. That alarm sounds very much like the um, true alerts. In fact, I think I said this in one of my other videos. I think the 9252 actually has a true alert horn in it, but it is a free run horn strobe. Uh, it's a four wire horn strobe, but the jumper um, has not been cut on it, so it still is set up as a two wire horn strobe. So I'll put a reset in the 4010. Yeah, that's pretty much what um, the fire drills sounded like at, uh, at most of my um, schools, at least part of my uh, high school. And um, pretty much all the alarms in. Um, the elementary school, one of the elementary schools I went to, um, all of my, all of the schools I went to had um, simplex alarms that were running on continuous, both electromechanical and electric. So that was uh, especially, um, or um, a lot of the classrooms actually had um, horn strobes in them, so that sucked. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to move over to the 4005. And um, since I got the trim plate on the Annunciator, why don't I go ahead and do a manual evacuation. So here we go. Once again, the Exceder is running on continuous. So here we go. Three, two, one. That's that. Let me go ahead and uh, put a reset in the system. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that test. I'll give you guys a good look at the enunciator panels. Ninety-one sixty-eight is a free run strobe. So that guy's still going. All right, <coughs> excuse my coughing. Um, there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching today's tests, and uh, I don't really have any major updates to share with you guys today, but um, any updates that do develop will be shared with you guys, and um, I will see you guys in the next Flora System test. Thank you so much for watching, and that will be it.